Welcome back in. So a very common fish in Puget Sound is at the center of some very uncommon research. It's called a spotted ratfish, and a new study out of UW found it has teeth on its forehead. This discovery is challenging some of her basic assumption about teeth. I'm joined by UW researcher Carly Cohen. Thanks so much for speaking with us today. Hi, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. This is a bizarre topic of the spotted ratfish. First time um, that I'm hearing that a tooth structure has been found outside of a jaw in any creature. What, what is going on here? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the ratfish is a really bizarre fish. It's one of the most abundant that we have here in the Pacific Northwest. You find them all over the coast, but they have this bizarre structure on their forehead, the tenaculum, and it's basically a jaw outside the jaw. It has teeth on it, just like the teeth in our mouths or the teeth in your cat's mouth or dog's mouth, and it's pretty bizarre to find those kinds of structures not you know, stuck in the jaw. Oh yeah, and you mentioned that they're common in Puget Sound, so why is this maybe the first time we're learning about forehead teeth? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great way to put it. Yeah, um, ratfishes in general are hard to get at. They're pretty deep sea species of fish. Um, so in terms of getting equipment down there, or fishing for them, it's hard to see those early development, uh, developmental states. But here in Puget Sound, we actually are pretty lucky, especially up in San Juan Islands. The ratfish come shallow to lay their eggs and to breed. It gives us this really rare opportunity to study them up close and personal. Yeah, because if I saw that in person, I would have so many questions. I would stop like what so I'm many. doing and saying, what's wrong with this fish? <laughs> but that's why we're talking to you about it. Uh, what is the significance of the discovery, if there is any to this? Yeah, so teeth are like one of the most crucial traits that we have. They allow us to eat really complex foods and be able to survive in different habitats. So you would think that something so crucial would be really tightly regulated. It would be expressed by the same genes, and they are, except that for some reason you can also put them in really flexible places. So we're thinking about something that's so important to the evolution and so important to the function of many organisms, including ourselves, and yet it can be in weird spots, just like on the forehead of a fish. Oh my goodness, are you saying that maybe we're gonna start seeing something like this in other creatures? I think so. I think as we broaden our definition of where teeth can be and what jaws look like, we might find more forehead teeth or fin teeth and things like that. Yeah, and I also heard in real quick that this has maybe something to do with mating. Is that right? Yeah, so the ratfish actually use that tenaculum to grab onto females while they're mating. Oh. Um, they're swimming in the ocean, and so they have to find some way to secure themselves, and so he'll use that. Uh, to latch onto females. They'll also use it kind of as a warning sign. Divers will often see them flaring their tenaculums. Oof, yikes. All right, <laughs> I could talk to you about this all day, but that's all the time we have on this topic. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, so David, uh, we interview all types of people, and throughout that interview, I said, what is happening? Well, it's pretty fascinating. They have a clasper on top that yeah. goes up and down, so I guess they're like, they judge their clasper as to, I have no idea. I don't even, yeah, don't even want to get yeah. into that. Oh, boy, yikes, oh boy. that is a scary-looking fish. Yeah. Well,